Hello everybody, it's a loyal gamer welcoming everyone back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Alright, so what do we have here? Got two red gems, holy crap, and an egg thief. <clears throat> a little unexpected slowdown there, but usually happens sometimes. Uh let's see here. I'll chase that egg thief later, screw it. I'm more about the gems than anything else. But I am going to collect all the eggs though, so don't worry about it. Yeah, see, around here I'm on this annoying border area, borderlands if you will. Um, there are like chests and stuff hidden everywhere around here and it's just really annoying and time consuming to get. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I know there's some chests around here somewhere, but I think we only went through like one half of these lands, so we gotta... And there's some strewn up around here. Yeah, this is really one of the crazier worlds, like just on the first level, it's crazy where they place these gems. Alright, and we have <clears throat> two right over here. Ow! Do do do. Do 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 Sheep! Sheep! Oh, sorry. Oh, wait a minute. Where's that egg thief? He should be around here somewhere. Oh. Um. Okay, I don't see anything over here. Yeah, that was the that was the area we came from, right? Um. Hmm. <clears throat> then we already went around this way, right? Huh. I love that glitch. It's just like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, now that, now that I've been here for so long... I saw a gem here somewhere, did I? But when you stay in a world for too long, like you'll have like little filler songs like these that pop up. I guess I have been here for a little bit too long, but I don't know. I just kind of stormed through this place. That's strange. I remember seeing more chests up here. That is really odd. Huh. Oh, yes. Uh, credit has to go to Stephen Copeland for uh, uh, composing this game's music. Uh, if you guys remember the Amanda Show way back, uh, I think the Amanda Show actually either borrowed one of the songs from this game, or Stephen Copeland actually wrote... Uh, that specific song for the Amanda show in the same style as Spyro. So... Yes! I knew there was some extra stuff around here. And I could have sworn that I saw chests around here. There's that egg thief! Get him! Are you retarded? Did you just see him like spin around like that? Oh my god. But anyway, for the most part, uh, Egg Thieves are pretty easy in this game compared to Spyro 3, which is a total nightmare. I got totally trounced by that border there. Uh, uh, let's see here. Alright, well, I don't think there's any more gems up on top of here, so we'll just go ahead and fly down here. Oof, okay. And it should be it. This is the last dragon, too, so... Gavin. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but who developed that concept of sparks, or a dragonfly eating butterflies? That makes no sense. Like, I guess if I were to catch a butterfly, would that make me stronger or change color? I don't think it would. <clears throat> Is that... Are we done? Yes! We 100%ed this world. That's amazing. Alright, so... Alright, so was that all the dragons, though? Inventory, 200, 200, 4 out of 4. We're good to go. <clears throat> Man, we're already steamrolling this game. Alright, return home. You can also return home from the uh, pause menu, but I just like to take the regular way out. 
Alright, so that's basically world 1-1, one, one, I would get I I guess. Yeah. And over here you have the second world. Oh, another thing. <laughs> to notice is that if you saw up on the right hand corner you saw Spyro's head but it's like a golden head and you should here like see up there and you'll have orbs circling around his head if you kill enemies that you've previously killed and collect these little orbs around here and if you make a circle around that head you'll actually get another life which is actually pretty nice ow do 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 bow. Do 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 do. Okay, Town Square. This is one of the uh, more memorable levels in the game. Do 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 do. You have Stephen Copeland's awesome uh, way of making music here. <clears throat> Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Alright. Well, what I meant to say is that Stephen Copeland, and a lot of you may not uh, know this, but Stephen Copeland was actually the drummer uh, to the 80s band The Police, which also featured an artist named Sting, uh, who also had a very successful solo career within the 80s and 90s. So if you're into like 80s bands and stuff, then yeah, Stephen Copeland is the same Stephen Copeland that came from the police. I think I think I'm right about that. I don't know. Somebody's probably gonna look, look that up on Wikipedia or something and be like, no, you're wrong, but. Alright, these bulls are hilarious. If you ram them like this, they're basically gonna be stuck like that forever. And you can't really do anything else. I don't even know how he hit you. Look at that! Look at his butt, just... You know what, I don't even want anything to do with that. Oh man, okay. Uh, we'll just leave you, we'll just leave you like that. I just want to look at you just being stuck like that. Urgh. 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 Alright, with these, all you have to do is breathe farther on them and then catch the gem in midair. Very simple. Oh, and gems don't fall off the course, if you're wondering, because, well... Uh, some people might not know about that. Alright, so, like I said, we can use the L2 and R2 buttons to look like this. And we get a life! There we go. We get a life! And we get a dragon! There you are. <clears throat> Devlin? Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst <laughs> job <laughs> of my <laughs> world. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? That's cool, bro. Okay, so, we got more gems. More gems, more shinies. <clears throat> if I could move my camera around. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, 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 I carry you up there. <clears throat> that is just hilarious, man. Yep. There we go. Whoop. What are we doing? Okay, so. <clears throat> very easy to maneuver around this level. We have chickens here, some chicken. Yep, you're just standing there. You were asking to get my horns rammed up your ass. <clears throat> you too, stupid asses. Stupid bulls. Huh. There we go. If you didn't notice, those uh norks, orcs if you will, uh were actually um uh, bullfighters, which is pretty funny, I guess. <laughs> Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. <laughs> what? I'm getting a little winded. <laughs> oh my lord. Some of these dragons are too much. But after a while during the game, all they end up saying is, thank you for rescuing me. And it's kind of like, okay, well, you kind of
kind of ran out of witty comments to write down or something. Hmm. Ugh, okay. So what do we got here? We got a hundred coins. Or, not coins, we're not playing a Mario game. Uh... Okay, so... Oops! Alright, so you fly around like this. And get the... Gems. And... Yeah! Easy as pie. And we get our second egg! Awesome. There's a whole bunch of stuff back here that you want to, uh, grab. Is there any more left back here? Yes, there is. Okay. Sometimes the fastest way to do it is just to go like this. Because <clears throat> the L2, R2 buttons are kind of, kind of slipshod in terms of camera viewing. Two for one special, baby. Alright, so we got more gems. More gems. Racking it up here. And... Oh! I flamed your ass this time. Alright, rescued Thor. Thank you for releasing me! Yeah, after a while, that's all they really say. So it's like, well... Thanks a lot, but uh, your princess is in another castle. Or whatever. Alright, so is that it? Ah, crap. Okay, well, there's probably like a little gem hanging out somewhere, so we'll have to go and find it. And that will probably take a while. Unless it's, unless if it's around here. Do, 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 Ah, crap, okay. Should have followed the dragon's advice and jumped at the top of my jump. Or glided at the top of my jump, rather. Okay, so... Ah, here you are. Now we're 100%. Yay! Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Huzzah! Alright, so that puts us at an even 500. And that was basically Town Square for you. So far, so good, right? Alright, so we'll go to the third level of the game. Which is actually the easiest level in the entire game. And it is Dark Hollows. My favorite level, actually. I don't know, it's just so, like, cool looking and fun to hang out here. Like, if this level were to exist in real life, I guess, I would just totally just, like, chill here or something. I don't know. Alright, yeah, be careful about these guys because, well, they have, uh, fireproof shields. So you can't flame these guys even though they're small. Ah, still got you, asshole. Uh... So all you have to do is just charge them. Doesn't matter. They pretty much go down easily. Do 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 do. Okay, so we're gonna need a key later on for that. Actually, we'll just go ahead and toast this guy, and he farts out a green gem. And that was pretty easy. <laughs> there we go. Let's rescue this dragon, Albin. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape oh, hi. the annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. So that's basically everything that I said. <laughs> Alright, so we're pretty much done with this area for now. That's actually another area, but I'll go back to that later. Alright, pretty easy. Bam! Oh! Man, I remember I first played this game, I actually played this game kind of late. Um, I think I played this game like in 2000 or something like that. No, maybe like 2002 or something like that. Right around the same time I started playing our, the lad. 
Shut up. Don't laugh at me. And yeah, I actually played this game very late. This game actually came out in 1998, I think. Either 1998 or 1997, somewhere around there. Actually, just kill one of these froggies and let's eat a butterfly. Nom 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 nom. And down you go. Yeah, so you basically, you can't really charge into the big guys. You basically have to toast them. For the smaller guys, you can either charge them or flame them, depending on the circumstances. And we'll rescue this dragon. Rescue Darius. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. Basically what I said. Thank you for stating the obvious. Alright, so we'll just carefully pick these gems up around here. And we shall be going back. Actually, if you fly down here, you can actually get a life! Oh yes. A life! La 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 la. And then we have to go down here, where we can find our key and get the rest of the gems. Alright, now. Now you have these big assholes just looking all scary and shit. But all you have to do is fly behind them like this and flame their asses. So that's basically it with that. So you think they're all fireproof, but they're really not. You just don't want to confront them like this, otherwise you're going to get your ass beat. And you're down. Simple as pie. Alright, we rescued another dragon. His name is Oswin. What? Want to know a secret? What? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. You are fucking me. obvious. Okay, so. Oh, where did that treasure chest come from? All right, there we go. All right, so I think we saved, and here is our sign. Awesome. And uh, there's some few gems around here, so you don't want to forget these. And I think there's another one. Yeah, there's another one right there. Easy to miss. So you gotta be careful about that. And I think we're good to go here. But unfortunately, we are out of time. Well, we're technically not out of time since I have unlimited uploads, but I'd still like to keep around 15 minutes. So this is A Loyal Gamer signing out of Let's Play Spiral of the Dragon. In the next episode, we'll pretty much, uh, we'll pretty much finish the level. I'll see you guys next time.